hi guys welcome to my channel guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful and responsive animated moving car with the help of just simple html and css so guys let me explain you this process first of all here we have one image the sky image and then after we have the buildings and we have one car and two tires and the road that is moving very fast so let me show you the pictures so guys here is our one wheel and uh, the building that we use in our animation and this is the car without uh, wheels uh, so and this is our sky that we used and this is the road these are the images you can download very easily from internet so guys here we have one file for the html and another for css so guys before starting this video i will request you guys that please subscribe to our channel and if you are new then hit the like button so okay guys let's get started here is my html file okay guys so guys i am starting with the the sky so let me design the html for this animated moving car first of all i am taking one div that is sky and inside the sky i am taking one more div that is actually our road and after that i am taking one more div that is our city And after that I am taking one more div that is for the car and inside the car I am taking one image that is actually okay guys and after that I am taking uh, two more images like inside the inside the tire div I am taking one tire div And inside the tire tube, I am taking two images. One for the uh, one for the back uh, tire, and another image. Another image is for the front tire. So this is uh, this is very simple. This is just our HTML file. Okay. So let me design the CSS for this animation moving car animated moving car first of all i am taking padding first of all i am taking padding 0 margin 0 box sizing border box and after that i am going to design the sky div first of all i am taking the height that is 100 vh and the width is also 100 percent after that i am taking the background image background url sky and the background size is cover and position is the position is relative and overflow x overflow x is hidden so okay guys this is our sky part and let me design the road this is our road i'm going to design the road div i am taking height uh, of 120 pixel and the width is actually 500 percent because the uh, we don't want to finish the road so actually we are taking a very long road that we never uh, like after a long that we finish after a very long interval and i am taking the display is block and uh, right now i am taking the background background image is uh, road and after that i am taking the position the position will be absolute and bottom margin bottom is zero and left will be zero right will be zero and here i'm taking the z index that is actually one and the background repetition will be a repeat x and here there is uh, our actually our animation 
animation will be like uh, road road five second linear infinity linear infinite so okay guys this is our road part and here I am adding our keyframes for road hundred percent transform translate X that is minus three four zero zero pixel so okay guys uh, after that I am taking our uh, city I'm going to design our city part uh, here is the height will be like uh, 450 pixel and the width will be 500 pixel because we don't want to finish early our city block and the big background image will be background image is uh, city and the position will be absolute uh, I'm taking margin bottom 120 pixel left will be 0 and right will be 0 and the display will be block uh, here the Z index uh, will be 0 uh, and uh, after that the background repetition will be uh, the background repetition will be repeat X okay here I'm taking our animation that is uh, that is city 30 second and linear infinite okay guys uh, so let me add the grief the key frames for our city block hundred percent transform translate X will be like minus 1400 pixel so okay guys let me design the car uh, this div okay and here the width of the car will be like uh, four uh, 400 pixel uh, left will be 550 percent and bottom will be 35 pixel transform translate X will be minus 550 percent and the position will be absolute and Z index here I am taking Z index 2 okay so I'm now I'm going to design the image inside the car so first of all I'm taking the width of the image like the width of the car is 100% inside the car div and the animation will be car one second linear infinite And now I'm taking the keyframes for uh, the car. Keyframe car. Keyframe car. Hundred percent. Transform Translate Translate and I'm taking translate y is minus one pixel 
and uh, fifty percent transform translate. Now I'm taking translate Y. So this is one pixel. And now I'm taking the zero percent. Here is our transform and translate property will be like a transform translate Y and this is also minus one pixel. So okay guys this is our uh, car animation part and now I'm going to design our tire. That is actually a uh, tire. This one okay. Let me uh, paste uh, let me paste it right over here. Uh, so we are going to design this so left margin left will be 50 percent and bottom will be 178 pixel and transform translate property will be translate x minus 50 percent okay and the position will be absolute and the z index uh, here i am taking our z index is 2 so okay guys this is our tar tire uh, div now i'm going to design the image inside the car that is actually our car so first of all i'm taking the div uh, the width is 80 pixel and the height uh, will be uh, 80 pixel now i am here i am uh, adding animation for this car image for the tire image that is uh, one second linear infinite okay so now let me design uh, the front and back tires for the for that i am taking one class that is uh, back and right here i am taking another class for the front tire so let me design this first of all i am designing the black uh, the back one so left margin left is minus 150 pixel and the position will be absolute now i am designing the front one so margin left will be minus uh, 75 77 pixel and the position will be absolute the position will be absolute okay so now i am uh, adding some keyframes for the tire that is first of all i'm taking 100 percent and adding some transform and rotate property that is rotate simple rotate so, uh, that will be rotate like a uh, three 360 degree so okay guys so this is our CSS part for the moving car animation let me check let me check the output for this car moving animation so this is our output uh, uh, this is actually because we uh, because we did not link our CSS file in the HTML file so here I am linking our style sheet okay guys this is our this is completed now we are going to see the output for this car animation boom this is how oh, this is very beautiful you are seeing this very beautiful so guys uh, this is our moving car animation and if you like this video then please uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, and hit the like button for more videos uh, subscribe then please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this goodbye